hope we don't finish too late. I have tons of homework to do. You know, Nathan's always complaining when I get bad grades. He's always keeping me here when I should be studying. <laughs> That's a discussion you'll have to have with him, Princess. <sighs> Hasn't Nathan been... I don't know, just... like, acting kind of strange lately? He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it. You know how he is. Do you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? No idea. Do you think he'll be long? Relax, princess. He'll be back in a minute. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. So Listen. I never... Get around to telling her I need more time. No. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. Look, Dawkins, I see your side of it. All right, I do. But orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me or do I have to go and get her? Jody, could you come here, please? What's, what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents, the agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. Understand? Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. What am I, a toy? Some kind of a test subject? Did you ever just stop and think about what I want? Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand, this is a great opportunity for you. Oh, so that's just it? You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Let's go. Come here. Jody. No. Jody, stop immediately. Go get my things. <laughs> All the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry.
See you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so... Maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later.
Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again! I'm not yours, Aiden! I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. The trash can in the kitchen. This stuff. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef. Oh. I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic, <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. So far, so good.
Ottinger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... It can't hurt. I mean, I need all the help I can get. All right, add the sake for flavor. Oh. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Aiden! Aiden, come on, open up! Too. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. 
All right, there. Chill out, Jody. Okay, just calm down. There's no need to panic. You're gonna be great. Whatever, I just like threw these old things on because, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Is it not enough effort? Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. I don't know. Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, a je ne sais quoi. Classy. It's the new me, and it shows that I can adapt to any situation. Might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass.
I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. You said, um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> Full apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago, yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything. It's just, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. And did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brothers still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. And uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. How did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, Try the army, you know, for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. So I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> you need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> 